Bonjour. I'm Matthew Luloff, the chair of the Ottawa Public Library Board and counselor for Orléans. It is such a pleasure to be one of the first to say congratulations to all of the winners of awesome authors this year. You should all be proud of your accomplishment and take it as an opportunity to grow as writers and creators. Félicitations à tous les gagnants de concours des super auteurs 2022. J'espère que vous continuerez à cultiver votre art et à surprendre le monde par votre créativité. I want to thank all who participated in this year's contest. OPL, with the support of the Friends of the Ottawa Public Library, has been providing the Awesome Authors Contest for decades to encourage creativity and cultivate the art of writing in our city. Each year, young writers from the Ottawa region are invited to submit an original piece of writing, in English or French, in one or all of the three categories, poetry, short story, and comic. OPL received 518 entries this year, which is more than we received in previous years. How exciting to know that we have so many young authors here in our beautiful city of Ottawa. Ainsi, près de 518 jeunes ont répondu à l'appel cette année, une année que personne n'oubliera de si tôt. Nous sommes touchés par le talent, la créativité et l'imagination incroyable de nos jeunes écrivains. Nous sommes d'autant plus émus par leur message de résilience et leur capacité de traduire ce qu'ils vivent dans les mots d'espoir et de solidarité pendant cette période difficile. We're also moved by the participants' ability to use writing as a means of escape and, and expression in such unnerving times. A warm thank you to all of our jury members. Catherine Austin, Amelinda Berubi, Eric Pelado, Jean-Luc Bilanger, and Khalifa Apollo the Child Hamden for their generous work in being such an inspiration to these young writers. Nos membres de jury ont travaillé sans relâche pour la réalisation de ce concours. Leur passion et dévouement grandement apprécié. Finally, I want to highlight the remarkable support that the Friends of the Ottawa Public Library Association has given us, which has made this contest such a success. Merci à l'Association des Amis de la Bibliothèque publique d'Ottawa d'avoir soutenu de façon généreuse cette initiative et de recueillir uh, toutes les œuvres de nos gagnants dans un livre intitulé Popourri. Be sure to get a copy of the Popourri Anthology later this year. Restez à l'écoute pour vous en procurer un exemplaire plus tard, plus tard cette année. For those who would like to be a part of this journey in 2023, keep, please keep your eye out on our website and social media for updates about the contest. And we will see you next year. À l'année prochaine. Merci et bravo. Congratulations to all. It was such a pleasure to read all the stories this year from writers age 9 to 12 in the English fiction category. Uh, there were over 200 submissions and I get to pick three winners and three honourable mentions and that leaves out 97% of the stories and you know that most of them were also awesome. So I am going to read you the winners and honourable mentions but I want you to know that it was so hard to choose. I could have chosen 20 stories easily. I could have chosen 60 instead of 6. So here we go. Honourable mention number one is Not My Time by Brooke Dirksen, age 11, from Cars on the Rideau Public School. And I chose this story for its fabulous ending. It seems to be one kind of story until the very last paragraph that twists it around and it surprised and delighted me. After multiple readings, I'm still delighted just thinking about it. It's such a wonderful ending. I thought it was just a bottle, but little did I know. It was October 4th and I was packing for a school field trip to Toronto the next day. My science class was partnering up with a beach cleanup company for two days. My younger sister Carla was as jealous as a dog that I got to go. 
And so the narrator goes on the beach cleanup and finds an unusual bottle and I can't tell you what happens. You have to read it through to the end. It's wonderful. So congratulations to Brooke. And the next honorable mention is My Darkness by Jacob McNamee, age 12, from Broadview Public School. And this one I chose for its gravity and ambition and the importance of its subject and the delicacy with which it's handled. It's a moving story about a school child in Canada who's come here from a war zone. And it captures not just the traumatic story of the past, but, but the position of the child now among school mates who don't seem to have anything in common with him. And so his nervousness and is brought out in this one classroom scene that draws attention to everything that makes him feel different when the kids have to write an assignment about what makes them who they are. Everyone seems to be finished by the time Mr. Smith calls a close to our assignment. Words appear on the board as his pen glides slowly. My name is listed eighth on the list of names. I will share my story after seven other people present. I shake a bit as the first story begins. And this also has a nice happy ending, which I like. I'm a sucker for a happy ending or a twist ending. Endings are very important. All right. Now on, on to honorable mention number three is Where My Focus Is by Ava Banahashimi, age 10, from Hopewell Avenue Public School. And this one I chose for its mastery of techniques. Uh, the author is only 10, but wow, she's really good with dialogue, with switching points of views, with having a, a third person narration, but going in and out of the minds of the main characters. She shows the passage of time with minimal transitions. And uh, it's just a really wonderful, vivid, imaginative story. She came out of her fantasy and saw that she'd fallen against the door. She got up slowly, rubbing her head. She met the eyes of a few classmates who were staring at her. Great, she thought, people to make fun of me. What's wrong with her? mumbled a girl with glasses. Can't she at least focus on where she's going? Are you okay? said another. Do you want me to take you to the principal's office? She needs an asylum, said a scared looking boy. And her story, well, it gets a little sad in the middle, but then it gets happy again at the end. So I hope that you will read all of those when Potpourri comes out. And those are the three honorable mentions for the year. Now moving on to third place goes to The Mysterious Well by Asaya Iqbal, age 10, from Alfrican Elementary School. And this one I chose for its ambition and the way that it takes a contemporary issue and puts it into a fantasy story without making it seem at all contrived. This story feels authentic. It doesn't feel made up to talk about discrimination. It's a really good fantasy story and it's so authentic because of the excellent characterization. The entire story takes place in one scene between three characters that are really well drawn. Your Highness, the girl began, my name is Fatima and I come from the southeast part of the empire. I once suffered from the same illness that has afflicted the princess, and I also have the cure for it. In exchange for the cure, however, I do not want the reward. The queen admired her courage, and for the first time in months she felt hopeful. Yes, go on, name your price, and you can find out her price when you read Potpourri. It's a great story. Congratulations, Asaya. And on to second place. This goes to The Witch by Lily Burton, also age 10. The 10 year olds are crushing it this year. Um, and she, school's not provided. So Lily, The Witch, congratulations. This story has such spark. I loved it. It's exciting and fun and the narrator is so charming. And also the plot is so surprising. It's about someone who goes to rescue a princess. She doesn't want to be rescued. It's not really a rescue. The villain isn't really a villain. It takes a classic damsel in distress story and turns it on its head and tells it all with just such flair. When I heard about the king's quest to save Princess Anna from the lair of the dragon witch, I was eager to apply. One, my parents wanted to get me out of the house. Two, I had always wanted to battle the dragon witch. Three, I wanted to meet the princess. And it goes on through a, a marvelous fantasy story. And finally, first place, another fantasy story, The Theft by Aditi Dinesh, age 12, from Cedarview Middle School. 
And this one I knew the moment I read it that it would be in my final choices. It is simply so well written. It has a beautiful flow, complex plot, and perfect balance of two main characters' points of view and their stories and how they converge in a final castle scene. Lily looked out the window. Mother wasn't getting better. She needed real medicine, the kind from the castle, not the herb mixture the apothecary owner made. The sun was setting, darkening the woods in front of Greenleaf. They looked infinite in size, and who knows what kind of creatures they housed, but they were the only way to reach the castle. And so Lily sets off on the theft, and her adventure is flawlessly told. So congratulations, Aditi. And those are the six winners of the English fiction age 9 to 12 category. If your story is not among them, oh, it could have been one of the many others I thought was great. If it's about that robot who gets shut down at the end, or Nacho the cat, or the missing unicorn, or the guardian of the wild, or the brother and sister who have to fight in the dark. So many, so many great stories. The bunny who wants to be a guard. Oh, they were all so good, and so many others. So as I said, I had to leave out 97% and just honor these 3% of the stories, and certainly all the winners and honorable mentions deserve great congratulations. But if your story is not among them, I'm sure it was also awesome. And I hope you continue to write and uh, submit again next year. And once again this year, my absolute favorite story was about 600 words too long. So it had to be disqualified. So again, try to stick to the parameters of under a thousand words. Okay, congratulations everyone. Wow, cette tâche-là était plutôt difficile. Il y avait tellement d'histoires captivantes que j'ai dû me baser sur certains critères comme la qualité de la langue, l'originalité, euh, la capacité à raconter une histoire en tant que telle euh, afin de déterminer quelle nouvelle littéraire remporterait les prix du concours. Chez nos jeunes auteurs de 9 ans à 12 ans, il y a trois mentions honorables ainsi que trois lauréats. Donc, pour commencer avec les mentions honorables, euh, la nouvelle « Ma pomme jaune », ensuite mention honorable aussi pour la nouvelle « Citrouille » et la troisième mention honorable pour la nouvelle « La plante mystérieuse ». Et maintenant pour les lauréats, en troisième place, la nouvelle « Poursuite », en deuxième place, la nouvelle « Un monstre pris à se faire manger », Et en première place, euh, la nouvelle « L'armoire magique ». Félicitations aux lauréats et aux lauréates et à tous les candidats euh, qui ont soumis de superbes histoires. Hello everyone, I'm here to give you all the winners for this category. Uh, had a bunch of entries. It's the one that had the, the most entries. So uh, really happy to see that you guys are enjoying this more and more and uh, participating more and more. Uh, as always, pretty difficult decision, but we need to pick some winners. Since I've had so much in there, I, I decided to give three honorable mentions. So uh, without any more uh, wait, here we go. Uh, so here's my honorable mentions. I've got Olivia Ruseski uh, for self-love. She's from Broadview Public School. Uh, why I picked this one, I really enjoyed like for, for all of them, the drawings are pretty top quality, but uh, this one had some tips about how to treat yourself, how to, to, to take care of yourself. Uh, and I really liked it, uh, especially with these uh, uncertain times that we have lately. Um, then I have Rosie Lee with Real or Not from Glashen Public School. Uh, the only one from the, the, the six that I have here that's not in color, but she went with a grayscale type of uh, illustration with some nice shading. And there's some pretty cool uh, shots too, uh, point of views. And uh, all in comedy. This one, little funnies with a uh, little, little beaver. Uh, next, I have Hannah Singh with The Dream. This one was pretty funny because it's just a, it's about a cat and a girl who's sleeping and she's uh, 
she's dreaming pretty much about the same thing as her cat is and that's what is being drawn here and i i enjoyed very well this little cartoon yeah, very well drawn too so now here we go for the, the three positions in third place we've got sophia sipsigan with adventures in space from ecole publique omar de uh, remember that name i think she, she she won before in this category always uh, very great drawings uh, nice color nice shading uh, cool character design and always a little funny uh, joke in the end a little punchline so congratulations sophia in second place we have uh, lina al natur for traveler's gift from half moon bay public school again this one i picked it uh was uh, was colored on the computer very nice uh, coloring and in a manga style drawing it was very creative very uh, uh original cartoon and i really truly enjoyed it uh so congratulations to lena and our first place uh winner this year is james paraga uh for ginger cat from broadview public school and uh truly enjoyed this cartoon uh, about some some superhero cat uh, going against a villain cat and they just have this little uh, friendly fight as superheroes do like nobody truly gets injured some lasers going on there uh, and it's it's really just really funny very uh, sympathetic cartoon and I uh, enjoyed it right away so congratulations to James Paraga <laughs> Bonjour à tous. Et maintenant, pour la catégorie des, des, des bandes dessinées, euh, c'est toujours très amusant de vous lire, de voir le type d'histoire que je vais avoir. Certains qui vont plus dans, ce, dans des récits un peu plus poétiques, tandis que d'autres vont s'en aller vers l'aventure et, et plusieurs vont se diriger vers l'humour. Euh, pour cette catégorie-ci, euh, j'ai eu trois gagnants et une mention honorable. Donc, euh, allons-y sans plus tarder. Euh, pour la mention honorable, c'est Yunus Azmi avec les mal jugés de l'école élémentaire Julie Payette. Une belle petite BD, série d'images d'animaux euh, qui s'appelle Jugez pas, hein, les mal jugés, euh, qui sont des animaux un peu étranges et comme quoi on ne devrait pas se fier euh, simplement à l'apparence par rapport. Euh, aux animaux, mais aux gens aussi. Donc, euh, c'était fait en humour et intéressant, divertissant. Alors, bravo, Younous. Maintenant, en troisième position, il y a euh, Sophia Sipsegan avec Oups de l'école publique Homer Delory. Euh, très coloré. C'est un beau petit gag sur un personnage qui a des oreilles un petit peu surdimensionnées. Euh, toujours de beaux designs, belles couleurs, belle application, et un beau gag assez, euh, assez rigolo à la fin. Alors, félicitations, Sophia Sipsegan. En deuxième place, j'ai Aubrey Caron avec Émilie et la septième année de l'école élémentaire catholique L'Amoureux. Alors, une belle petite BD, fait en, de manière un peu narrative, qui rappelle... Euh, des histoires un peu comme euh, Journal d'un dégonflé, dans ce style-là, où on a un, un, une étudiante qui raconte ses mésaventures vers la septième année euh, et que tous les malheurs lui arrivent. Alors, bravo à Aubry Caron pour ta deuxième place. Et en première position, j'ai choisi la bande dessinée de Aida Ndiaye avec la famille farfelue de l'école publique Trail des Bois. Bravo Aida. Alors bande dessinée qui comprenait également une page titre d'une de, 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 famille où il y a plusieurs gags, euh, deux gags différents dans ce cas-ci, euh, avec des blagues familiales, rigolotes. Euh, J'ai bien aimé la, la, la façon que les personnages étaient... Euh, étaient 
illustrer, mais aussi les expressions des personnages et les blagues. Alors, pour cette raison, euh, Aïda, tu es la numéro un de, ce, de cette catégorie. Bravo et félicitations à tous. Et j'espère que l'année prochaine, il y aura encore plus de participants pour cette catégorie. Alors, au revoir tout le monde. What is going on? My name is Khalifa Hamdan. I go by the stage name of Apollo the Child. Some of you might know me, some of you might not. Uh, but you will know me because I am this year's uh, judge for the Awesome Authors Poetry Competition for your age group. So, welcome and congratulations everyone for even just submitting because, you know, not only creating a piece of work is very, very difficult and nerve-wracking, but to submit it to a contest, to a competition where it's being held up against other bodies of work and other poems uh, can be a very, very difficult thing to do. So my book, you're all winners. Congratulations for submitting in general. Uh, if you don't win this year, please try again next year because this competition gets very hard. I won't lie to you. And it gets very, very close. It gets neck and neck. So uh, usually the winners win by a very small margin. I won't lie to you. It's very difficult for me. Um, but I enjoy it. I love it. I love reading your work. And I hope to God that you try again next year. Um, with that being said, the way it's going to work. So we got six names that we're gonna read. We're gonna do the top three honorable mention, going from third place, second place, first place, and then we go through the uh, top three winners from third, second, first. With that being said, drum roll, please. I'm trying my best to drum roll. As I pull out my very official, you know, uh, list of winners, it's not written on scrap paper, I promise. Uh, it's very ceremonious. Uh, there's no coffee stain on the corner, ignore that, uh, as we jump into it. So, that being said, Uh, the third honorable mention for the 2022 Awesome Authors Poetry Contest is Shane McDonald from West Wind Public School with Bad Birthday. I really love the perspective of this poem and how you flip the perspective midway through. Uh, I love the writing. I was very, very engaged throughout uh, reading the poem. And I actually went back and read it a second and third time. So congratulations, Shane. I hope to uh, hear more of your work in the future. Uh, second honorable mention, we have Serena Pasha with Summer Fun. Congratulations. It was a greatly, amazingly written poem, and I really got wrapped up in it. And that's usually an indicator to me that this is a great poem. So, Serena, I hope to God I hear more of your work in the future. And the first honorable mention, we got Chloe Smith with the poem Hope. Um, very well executed. Uh, I found myself really emotionally responding to your writing. And I hope I hear more of you in the future as well. Now, with that being said, we got our top three winners for the 2022 Poetry Awesome Authors Contest. So in third place, we have, and I, if I get your name wrong, I am so sorry. I'm trying my best. Uh, we're going to jump into it. In third place, we got uh, Idalowit Tomasik with, from Glashen Public School with We Are Not Ready to Lose. I found this poem to be a call to action, uh, very well written, very dynamic, and you know, very current to what we are going through. So congratulations, Idalawit. In second place, we have Nora Rohani with, um, sorry, with Can't Go Back. Uh, and Nora goes to Emily Carr Public School, Can't Go Back. Again, very topical to what we're going through uh, in these days and times, very current. I really like that. I find the poems that talk about the current situations or that delve into emotions, those are the poems that I tend to respond to um, because they're very important poems, especially at your age. To be able to think critically in that way is uh, very eye-opening. So congratulations, Nora. And in first place, we have Emily Pichette with Freckles Like uh, Stars. I nearly said scars. Freckles Like Stars. Amazing poem. It was very, very, very well written, especially at your age. Uh, I found my jaw was dropped and I was a little envious. Uh, I, I wish I can write a poem like you do and, you know, tackle. I believe it was from the perspective of uh, Emily Wolfe and you know the tragedy behind her story it's just 
It really, it really got me. So congratulations again. If you did not win, if you did not, if you were not mentioned, please try again next year. Um, Cause you never know what might happen. And I love reading your work and it's just to see such great minds and great writers at your age is just very, very inspiring. I won't lie to you. And you know, I want to take the time to thank the Ottawa Public Library and friends of the Ottawa Public Library for including me again this year. And congratulations to all the winners named. So try again next year. Hopefully I read your work next year. Congratulations, everyone. Have a great day. Je dois vous avouer que ma tâche en tant que juge a été plutôt ardue, étant donné la quantité de poèmes et la qualité des poèmes qui ont été soumis. J'ai dû me baser sur certains critères, comme la créativité, la qualité de la langue, l'originalité du propos, le style, etc., pour pouvoir déterminer quel poème gagnerait ce concours. Donc, chez nos poètes de 9 ans à 12 ans, en troisième place, il y a le poème « À toi, ma belle prunelle ». En deuxième place, le poème « Les premiers flocons ». En première place, le poème « Réveille-toi ». Félicitations à tous les lauréats et les lauréates. Félicitations aussi à tous les candidats qui ont soumis des poèmes de très grande qualité. Je vous encourage de continuer d'écrire, continuer de vivre cette passion-là que vous avez pour l'écriture. C'est vraiment fantastique de voir tout le talent qu'il y a dans la région. Hi there, my name is Sherry Hill of the Friends of the Ottawa Public Library Association. First, I want to extend my heartfelt congratulations to each awesome author winner of 2022. For the last 16 years, our association has been proud to oversee the publishing of your winning works. More information on when that'll happen and what we'll need from you to make it happen will be available over the summer months. Once again, my congratulations go to each of you, and I look forward to reading all the interesting poems, short stories, and comics from 2022.